Austin P. 43-310 VC, Spoiled Tennessee States, 4-3-1-3, Homecoming Saturday night by coming back to claim a 21-17 victory before a Nissan Stadium crowd of 21,127. Here are five things we learned. Two big plays late crushed Zoo's hopes. The Tigers were clutching a 17-14 lead when Austin Peay's Kyron Moore returned upon 35 yards to the Tzu 49 with 2.41 remaining. Three plays later Jeremiah Oatesville, a freshman quarterback from Brentwood Academy, broke free around right end for a 34-yard run to the Tzu 2. It was Oatesville's longest run of the season. On the next play Ahmed Tanner scored the winning TD on a run around right end. I did a poor job of preparing this team to play today, Coach Rod Reed said. We've got an open week to get some things fixed, and we'll go back to the drawing board and try to finish this thing strong. Johnson comes up with another big play. Devin Johnson had to come up with another big play in order for Tzu to take its only lead. The transfer from Alabama A&M caught a 66-yard TD pass from Michael Hughes early in the fourth quarter to put the Tigers up 17-14. It was the second longest play of the season for Tzu. Johnson also had the longest play, a 96-yard kickoff return for a TD against Utah Martin. As an offense I feel like we played okay, but we left a lot of points out there on the field, said Johnson, who had a team-high four catches for 91 yards. I had fumbled earlier in the game, and I was kind of down on myself. So for the coaches, to still have confidence in me to call my number again later on that big play meant a lot. Smith goes back to QB. After Hughes and Tree and Harris completed just nine of their first 19 passes combined, wide receiver Patrick Smith moved to quarterback on a fourth and two late in the third quarter. Smith, a converted quarterback, took the shotgun snap and threw the ball to eligible lineman Thomas Newberg, a freshman from Independence, in the end zone. The trimmed the Govs lead to 14-10. Hughes completed 10 of 19 passes for 148 yards and 1 TD, while Harris was 5 of minus 11 for 58 yards. It started off a little rough, but we eventually bounced back, Hughes said. Then we didn't do a good job of finishing the game. We missed a lot of big opportunities. We didn't finish like we were supposed to. Trian Harris, 5, and Michael Hughes split time at quarterback. Trian Harris, Five and Michael Hughes split time at quarterback for Tennessee State Saturday night against Austin P. at Nissan Stadium. Photo, Sam Jordan Tennessee State Athletics. Lengthy halftime costs Tzu. Tzu was assessed a 10-yard penalty to start the second half for allowing its homecoming halftime festivities to go too long. Halftime may only last 20 minutes. Tzu exceeded that after several presentations, including introduction of the homecoming court, and the band performed. The Tigers had to kick from their own 25. Moore returned it all the way to the Tzu 25. The game was shortened, however, due to a holding penalty and moved back to the Asu 40. The Guff still managed to score their second TD on that drive and take a 14-3 lead. Tennessee State's Austin Rowley, 48 prepares to hold. Tennessee State's Austin Rowley, 48, prepares to hold on a field goal attempt by Kobe Weiss, 96, who replaced Lane Clark in Saturday's game against Austin P. Clark was sidelined with a leg injury. Photo, Sam Jordan Tennessee State Athletics. Lane Clark is missed. Sue's All-American kicker Lane Clark did not play after re-injuring the quad muscle in his kicking leg in last week's game at Eastern Kentucky. He was sorely missed. Freshman Kobe Weiss, who replaced Clark last week and kicked an extra point against Eku, made his first field goal from 39 yards, but missed his next two from 47 and 39 yards. Tennessee State defensive and Ebo Ogundeko tackles. Tennessee State defensive and Ebo Ogundeko tackles Austin P. quarterback Jeremiah Oatesville in Saturday's game at Nissan Stadium. Photo, Sam Jordan Tennessee State Athletics, penalty problems return for Tigers. After cleaning up their problem with committing costly penalties last week at Eku, Sue committed 10 penalties for 85 yards. 
the biggest came with just 20 seconds left, when offensive tackle Christian Morris was flagged for a face mask infraction on a play in which Steven Newbold caught the ball at the Austin P11. The penalty moved Sue back to its own 27. We beat ourselves, said middle linebacker Chris Collins. There were high points, but they cancelled out with the low points. We have to bounce back and harmonize as one. Then everything else will work itself out.